I've just tasted some. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining me. I do hope everyone's okay. So today I'm doing a very quick review of a brand that's really close to my heart, simply because of what it stands for, who the founder is. The brand is called Ndanaka and it's a Zimbabwean brand. It's owned by Carol Nyazika and she's actually here on YouTube. I'll leave all the links that you need to know in the description box. The two that I'll be trying today is the detox clay mask and the facial oil but without wasting too much time i am going to show you guys um how to use the detox clay mask and the face oil and i'm going to give you my thoughts on it so i'm not wearing any makeup at the moment so i'll go through my cleansing process and i'll go through using the danaka products as well so just a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I actually purchased the products with my own money and this is a very unbiased review and I do hope that you guys find it useful. So for cleansing my face today, I'm using my Kors Sensitive Oily Skin Cleanser. So now that my face is nice and clean, I'm going to tone it with this Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. I think you can DIY rose water. I'll try and find how to do it and I can actually do a video for you guys. So just while my face is still damp, I'm not going to dry it. Um, I'm going to take the Ndanaka Detox Mask, which comes in a pack like this. It's like just a plastic pouch, but then the plastic is quite strong and it's like a Ziploc and the instructions are to you to mix it with some water or apple cider vinegar. So I think I might just mix mine with my rose water and use it that way. So I think the consistency of your paste just depends on how you're going to apply it and what you like. And I'm going to apply mine with a brush. So I'll start from the center of my face and work my way outwards. It's got a very natural kind of smell to it. It's not unpleasant. It's quite, it's quite nice and familiar as well something from my childhood i can't remember what it is but i actually quite like it a little goes a long way i still got a lot in there and obviously when you do your face don't forget to go down to your neck i'm not going to massage it in i'm actually using my brush as i go along to work the mask in okay so while we wait for the mask to work for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll just let you guys know what's in the detox mask, which is actually 100% natural. It's got bentonite clay, charcoal, avocado powder, lemon peel, rosy powder, turmeric, aloe vera powder, fuller's earth powder, marshmallow root powder, and all these ingredients are just amazing, especially if you're someone who's wanting a really nice glow to their skin, you want to keep breakouts at bay, and you just want nice, healthy skin, this is actually an amazing mask looking at the ingredients. The packaging is very minimalist. I'm not really like a packaging snob, I don't mind. I get the idea behind it, minimalist. It's a brand that's about things that are 100% natural, so less is more and it's good for the environment. And because of what the packaging is made of, you can actually have this um, in your shower and because it's waterproof, your powder will stay nice and dry. I'm not quite sure how much you get um, in a pouch because it doesn't really say how much is in there. But um, if you go onto the website, you might be able to see exactly how much you get in a pack. So I've washed off the mask and my skin feels amazing. It feels really, really nice. And the mask, as I was washing it off, I massaged it into my face initially before like washing the whole thing off. And it's got kind of like granules in it. They're quite, they feel 
what's the word they feel sandy so i think that will help with um even more exfoliation but you just have to be really careful if you've got like sensitive skin not to over scrub your face and again for toning i'm not using anything kind of like harsh i'm just going to use my rose water so the next product that i'm going on to is the danaka organic face oil and it says citrus on it and it's 100 percent natural as well and you get 30 mils i'm going to put the price somewhere here in the screen because again I can't remember off the top of my head so while my toner is just drying down I'll let you know what the ingredients are there are quite a few ingredients on there and they all look really really nice like you've got watermelon um, the seed oil and you know that watermelon is really good for like getting rid of uneven skin tone and there is sweet almond oil and almond oil is it's quite a nice oil it's small in structure so it's really good for hydration especially for people with dry skin and you get um baobab oil i don't know if many of you are familiar with the baobab tree and that is like it's a native tree to southern africa i'm not quite sure what the benefits of baobab are but um, if I find it, I'll put it somewhere here in the screen as well. And you've got marula seed oil, you've got rose heap seed oil, there's is it jojoba or jojoba seed oil, jojoba seed oil. That's an absolutely amazing oil as well. It's really, really small, like um, the almond oil. So that means it, it does not clog your pores and there is pumpkin seed oil as well and you get vitamin e and there is lang lang oil i've not used that one before there's grapefruit oil and there is orange like orange seed oil as well so my face is kind of like dried now to put products at the tip of my fingers work from the inside oh that smells really nice work from the inside of my face it's very very light very moisturizing it doesn't feel like greasy you can feel that you have applied something to your skin but it's something light refreshing so guys, this is the end of the video. I definitely recommend that you try out Danaka, especially the detox mask and the facial oil. They're absolutely amazing. Even though you've got quite a lot of skincare products, I suppose that you may be using at this time, the detox mask, you can easily add it to your skincare routine as a mask that you use once or twice a week because it's absolutely amazing. I've only used it just this once, but the way my skin felt afterwards and even during, I could definitely I could definitely feel that it's a mask that does something to your skin. And I bet after quite a few uses, I'll definitely start to see the difference that they will be contributing to. To how my skin is the facial oil smells amazing and it's really really light if you're someone who doesn't like packing on too many products on your face try the Danaka facial oil and if you're one of the beauty paradox clients who's been using the hashtag no makeup pigment regulating cream you can easily use the face oil as well just apply your pigment regulating cream first let it sit for a few minutes and then apply the oil on top to lock in your moisturizer so it's so easy to kind of marry certain products with certain ingredients together and you can get the benefits out of products with natural ingredients so guys if you have any questions please leave them down below in the comments section and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for watching until my next video do take care and god bless bye for now